What do you, what do you mean? I don't know, I don't know. What do you mean? Why did they look like that? With my same fucking team. Why did they look like that? Why did they look like that? What do you mean? Yo guys, what's good? And welcome back to another story time. I'm pretty sure you guys know why I'm wearing this mask. It is because of the outbreak that's going on. Now, I'm not even allowed to say the word, so we are going to nickname it Rona. Because if I say the word, YouTube are instantly going to take this video down, and it's just going to be a whole waste of time. So, yeah, quarantine. It's a word that we've all heard by now, and everyone's in it, okay? The whole of UK is in lockdown. Personally, I think we should have done lockdown a long time ago, but I'm just going to be going through how my quarantine is going so far and the stuff that's happened. I'm just gonna hit you with a hard, hard hit of right now. And basically, we were suspected, I mean we still are suspected, of carrying COVID-19. <laughs> now this doesn't mean I'm gonna be a zombie and like guts are gonna explode out of my face or something, but we we're pretty sure that we, it was in our household because of the, like the symptoms that we were receiving while i'm editing this i just realized how stupid i sound in this video we actually did get tested and we were positive okay um well, obviously when i was recording this video we didn't know we hadn't taken the test yet but we just suspected it so yeah i'm not trying to like use this for views or whatever it's true receiving now obviously if you don't know i'm gonna leave a link in the description to the symptoms and all that if you think you have it obviously don't believe everything that you see online because of this guy on snapchat this t1 guy um and he's making all sorts of allegations and saying that the Shush. is fake i just said the word sorry i meant rona is fake and that is actually 5G towers or whatever. It's up to you to believe that, but I'll just stick to what the NHS and everything that they're saying is what we should be doing. So yeah, I had it, and I'm not gonna lie, the first day I felt like garbage, like I was just tired. Everyone in the house was like, not feeling well. And it was only Raymond, you know, the little guy that was feeling all right. I was feeling so bad, um, but obviously the worst effect was my dad. Um, he was he wasn't feeling well at all and he still isn't feeling well now because i'm feeling all right right now but he's not feeling well at all and it's like it was it was a bit of a shock but my mom she was just making so many of these remedies so many things with ginger lemon oh my god because i didn't know that the coronavirus had something to do with mucus as well and that's where like the breathing problems come as well because they do attack the lungs but it also has a build-up of mucus and that's in your throat so that also leads to the breathing problems and that's why my mom was giving making things like ginger lemon all the sorts of things to try and break that mucus that's inside your throat and it works because i feel better one weird thing i don't know if it's like a symptom or not i lost my taste and i lost my smell now when i say i lost it my nose is like i could smell things but i couldn't like actually process what it was it was so weird it was like let's say i'm eating um ice cream or oh, even i wasn't actually let's see something better i'm eating bread and i put jam on it when i eat it i don't taste the jam or the bread i just taste like nothing it's like my brain knows what it tastes like and it's trying to like make my taste buds remember how it tastes like but my taste buds are just there like i don't know what this is and it was going on like that for a long time and I was thinking, wait, why why do I not like taste things? It's weird. I was thinking, what's going on? And I asked my mama by and she had the same thing and it's like it was weird. And every time I tried to smell things, like I love smelling cocoa bar, yeah. I was smelling my um coconut oil, I put it that and I couldn't smell anything. And the thing is, coconut oil, the smell is so strong, especially if it, if it's organic, you put it near your nose and you just smell it. But I couldn't smell it at all and I was thinking what's going on am I am I like losing one of my senses or whatever but now I wouldn't say it's a hundred percent back because I can't really smell things or taste things but I say that it's, it's about 80 percent back I'd say and on Thursday um at eight o'clock we had this thing where we we're supposed to clap for the NHS um obviously if your parents are a key worker then or they work in the NHS then obviously thank you the, the people are NHS the nurses literally everyone on the front line are doing everything they can against this Shush. my mom included she's social worker she's she you know helping and it's you know it's crazy 
soon everyone was just going out to clap and i thought everyone on my street was gonna do it but it was only i think i only saw like two or three people doing it so i'm gonna use this clip for mewa <laughs> mewa's word i'm gonna use this clip so thanks to mewa Woo! big up nhs they really do great work man you, you just have to thank them but can i just say I'm so tired of WhatsApp, okay? WhatsApp has had its time to shine, okay? WhatsApp has had its time to shine. It always shines in things like this, okay? I've heard all sorts of things of like people drinking bleach to get rid of the coronavirus, all sorts of funny videos, videos of people slapping each other's back. Listen, I've seen it all, okay? And on WhatsApp, we're just there, like, these aunties are they're having the time of their life, like, they, they're literally just there doing stuff doing stuff and the things that are circulating is crazy and apparently i heard that they're making like a law um where i think it's like four months in jail if, if you're like spreading false information about the coronavirus so yeah man we've got a lot of art and you sweating right now and if you're wondering why i'm wearing my hat um thing i mean i haven't shown my forehead in a long time but guys okay <laughs> if you see my trim it's sad it's sad. like it's it's really bad right now and remember the last time i showed my chin was um when i did that vlog with wallace and it's been about four weeks five weeks since i got a cut and obviously because i have waves like my waves are starting to move a bit uh, so usually sometimes i use like um pomade sometimes so i had to switch to oil and i'm happy that i did because my hairs are really soft and that um surprisingly my waves are like keeping down but i know it's not gonna last very long and i'm soon gonna look homeless but guys it's all part of the deal it's just how it is to, and to be honest i'm just spending most of my quarantine just like sitting down watching things um on netflix i watch bear shoes and <laughs> i have this clip that i want to show you guys who's actually gonna do it <laughs> i was literally <laughs> i was watching truth or dare um on netflix with my mom and my sister was watching it halfway but then she left because she was doing something and all my days i hate when like characters use knives like to cut like either their vein or a part of their body i hate that so much and he started cutting himself and then yeah i just lost my cool but before we end this video i had to go shopping and for some reason i don't know i just thought that i'd take you guys with me because i wanted you guys to see like how things are outside and literally it's crazy how Everything was quiet, the lines were long, so you guys can go and see that. Alright guys, day 7, I think week 1 of quarantine. Yeah, so we're going outside today. Um, literally just woke up, so tired. That's the time right now, it's not even 9 yet. But obviously if you want to go to shops, you have to be early. We want to get lemons and oil. And obviously because it's quarantine, the whole outside is quiet. So I thought I'd take you guys with me because I haven't been outside since the lockdown started. So I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm so tired. So yeah, let's go, let's go. Ah, uh, guys, obviously, because we suspected, we actually haven't been tested. So I have to be wearing a mask. There's no point in wearing gloves because no, it doesn't make sense. But obviously, I did put um, antibacterial before we left. Um, I don't like wearing masks because, like, when you speak, the air that you're speaking now is just going into your nose and onto, onto your face, and that really annoys me. But other than that, wait, what's the we're going to? We're going to Asda, Middle. Okay, so we're going to quite a few shops. So we're just going to see how empty it is. Coming in my street, which I'm not going to show, is very, very quiet. But it's usually like that anyway, so it's not really a difference. Look at that road. Do you know how much traffic is always on this road? Do you see? Look at this queue. Lovely. Oh my god. Wow. This queue is looking it's looking spectacular. Guys, I'm out to starve, you know. Me and me and queues just don't we're not friends. So where do we start from? Where does it even start? <laughs> where do we start? Where does it even start? Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Just to get oil. I need oil. Oh, yo, oh, yo, that's it. Yeah. 
I hate keys so much. I actually hate keys. So guys, coronavirus. Coronavirus. Look at that. Just to get weird. Look how long that line's going. So you have to go straight. You have to go around. It's honestly, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful sight to see, guys. It's beautiful. Honestly, I don't know how long I can last in this line. <laughs> like, I just don't like lines. I don't like waiting. I know it sounds really spoiled. But everything has to be quick with me about all these interests. Don't try and take out context, okay? But yeah. Yeah, it's 11 or 12. 12? Gonna get my mom at the blocks like Tetris. Did they think you am a buy your only necklace? See, these girls just they love to be reckless. Play with your heart, then they leave your heart and senseless. Guys, so finally, in. finally, we are inside. This, it's kind of like a ghost town, man. So we're looking for lemons here. I'm surprised that this things aren't really that empty. Like, I thought it would be totally, totally empty. But if we don't find what we need, then obviously the line's gonna be for no reason. Lemons, check. These are very important. <laughs> Look at the cleanness, that is grown. Of course, hand sanitizer. Tut lol. Empty again. Guys, we are done. Finally, we're outside. Two hours later, we're done. This is so long, but we're done, we're done, we're done. So now, we didn't actually get what we wanted to get, which was oil. If my camera was for me, we didn't actually get oil, as you guys can see. And that was the thing that we wanted in the first place. So, I'm a bit angry. And the line's still going long. I don't know if you guys can see that, I can't be asked to zoom. But yeah, now we're probably gonna go to another shop, which is very annoying, but it is what it is. So yeah, <sighs> guys. So I've done a stupid shopping. thing. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, that's us. The done. Are we going anywhere else? Yes. We have to find oil. We have to find ginger. <sighs> guys, man, save me. Two hours later, and yeah. Obviously, but we've got the, the nice Doritos to help me get through it. So, guys, we're in Upton Park. Yeah, Upton Park. I nearly finished all of this. This is really good. And then, what I did use hand sanitizer before I actually eat the, ate that. And it's, it's common sense. But yeah, we're in Upton Park. And I'm literally in the car waiting for my mum. I didn't leave the car today. But yeah, guys, I'm going to take this opportunity to quickly tell you guys. That my new song is out, out the blocks. I don't know how well it's doing because obviously today, the day that I'm recording this is actually Friday. So the song's coming out tomorrow. So yeah guys, please go and listen to that. Keep do it up. Okay. We're trying to do a madness on that. So I'll leave the link in the description as well. Make sure you subscribe. Hopefully we hit 800 subscribers soon. I don't know if we've already hit it, but at the moment we're on 784. So keep subscribing as well. And yeah, all my Ugandans know about this shop. I might say there's even a queue outside here in Forest Gate. This is a Ugandan shop. God damn. Oh my God. Guys, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. The time. The time. This is the time. We left at nine. Okay, I haven't eaten any breakfast or nothing. We left at nine. It is one, one ten. So yeah, back to you, Rodney. Oh, all right, welcome back, guys. Welcome back from shopping. How did you like it? You're lucky they didn't wait in any of those queues because we were there for like two hours. Anyways, if you did enjoy this story time slash quarantine slash Rona talk down, I don't even know what this video is. But yeah, if you did enjoy, please subscribe. We are trying to hit 1K by the end of this year. You saw that little cheeky thing that popped up. Yeah, that took me a while to make. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Out the blocks, go listen to it as well. I don't know the views for some reason, they're moving a bit mad, but guys, subscribe and yeah, we're trying to hit 1k. So, do everyone a favor, subscribe and listen to other blocks. Link in the description, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next video. Peace.